Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be kind of like a work with me slash walkthrough with me uh, tutorial uh, slash video. I am going to be showing you all how I update my blog on my website. My website is badshakehair.com. I do offer hair extensions as well as different um, products and also services, services related to empowering entrepreneurs, um, consultations, professional biography services, website reviews, just to name a few. That link is down below if you are interested. Um, I am using Shopify. Shopify is the e-commerce site that I use, that I talk about in the majority of my videos when I am referencing um, how-tos uh, pertaining to websites. So if you are interested in switching over to Shopify or trying out Shopify, be sure to click the link down below this video and there may even be a free trial. But um, before we get into the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So like I mentioned, I am logged into my Shopify store. I did click on my blog section and the way that I update my blogs is I go to the last blog that I have published and I update from that section. Um, as you can see, the last time that I edited my blog was back in December. So I am way overdue. So I'm going to go ahead and click that check mark, click actions, and I'm going to go ahead and um, begin editing this blog. Um, now, before I get started with my blogs, I do like to have kind of like a rough idea, um, if not a full, complete mapped out idea of what I want this new blog to be about. Um, at this particular time, I was debating between a couple different topics, but I decided to go with um, the topic that I'm going to show you in just a moment. And this happens pretty frequently for me. Sometimes I do have um, a certain topic and then I'll get to um, writing about it and I'll start the publishing process and then I'll decide, okay, well, I don't want to do this topic right now. I'd rather do this topic. So that's very common for me. Once I have the topic, I also like to decide on what type of title I want for the blog. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that I can update my blog at least I'm going to try to aim for once a month. Um, there are lots of benefits with blogs. It does help the engagement with your visitors or it could help the engagement with your visitors. It could also help the um, uh, increase of your uh, website visitor counts because if certain people are interested in what you're writing about and they're wanting to come back to read your blog, uh, more than likely, they're going to go back to your website if your you know website is connected to your blog, read about that blog, and then also they may spend a little bit more time on your website looking at what you offer, and that could boost your sales. Um, as well as with blogs, it does give your audience uh, more information depending on what you are writing about. Maybe you're going to be writing about um, something that your business is going to be um, active in. Maybe it's an event coming up. Maybe it's a certain service that you're offering or a new product. Uh, maybe you just want to share helpful information that you've learned or helpful information that can help your customers and clients um, that you are learning, you know, right along with, uh, with them. So uh, I do say very frequently that business, in my experience, is a journey. You know, we all are uh, here to help, in my opinion, you know. Not everyone has everything figured out. And so I do enjoy interacting. So the blog for me is another way to interact with my audience, interact with my customers and clients, and also website visitors, people that haven't even um, purchased anything at this point, but are just wanting to read up on more information or just wanting to support or be interactive. This is a way for them to do so. So you can go ahead and I'm, I'm talking, but I'm also showing you what I'm doing on the screen. Now, if you did not want to do it this way where you're editing the current blog, you could go ahead and delete that blog and then create a brand new blog. So you can do that too. It just depends on what mood you're in and what you're wanting to do. But I did decide to go with the concept and the topic today of discussing healthy foods that do help um, hair growth and also hair health. Initially, I was going to leave it at hair growth, but then I realized that hair growth is not the goal for everyone. Um, and that's something that we do want to remember, especially me being in the hair industry. Not everyone is looking to have long hair. Um, there are some people that cut their hair by choice. There are some people that want their hair shorter by choice. Even me, you know, I'm considering cutting my hair. So, you know, the goal for other people would be healthy hair. And then also people have the goal of long and healthy hair too, because working in the salon, I would experience people coming in and they would have long hair, but the health wouldn't be there. And so at that point, they were more apt to want to cut their hair to start over um, because they cared more about the health and the length. 
So um, there are different there are different words that attract different readers. Like I said, there are some people that are reading articles specifically on hair growth, and there are some people that are reading articles specifically on hair health and both. So I wanted to go ahead and list some foods that are recommended for um, hair growth and health. Now, if you are looking at the, the screen, you may have noticed my typo, which I'm going to fix later on in the video, but I do have below us a list of healthy foods that are recommended for food growth and health. I meant to put for hair growth and health. So I'm listing eggs, spinach, nuts, seeds, sweet potatoes. If you are creating a blog and you ever, you ever get like a a writer's block or you get hung up on what you want to put in there you can always do research to figure out what other foods or, or what else you need to incorporate in your blog now be careful you don't want to uh, steal anyone's um, writing and you don't want to you don't want to plagiarize you know what i mean but if you do need to research for example some of the food, I, I researched some other foods, avocados. I don't eat avocados on a daily basis, but when I did research, there were different um, different sites that I do trust that recommended avocados, so I listed that. So be sure that you're always putting your own spin in your blog or in anything that you do. Be sure that you're always um, putting your creativity in it and you're not taking anyone else's work or anyone else's um you know article or advice word for word but if you do need to research feel free to do that also on my blog one thing that i do is i always list something like which one is your favorite or tell tell me a little bit about um what style you decided to go with or what are you doing for the holidays some type of question that can get the interaction going now the way that my blog is set up um for some reason it doesn't allow um, interaction right below the blog. There have been other blogs that I've used like on Blogger and various sites that does allow different people to comment immediately under the blog. Um, my blog does not allow me to do that. It's not doesn't have anything to do with Shopify. It's just because of the theme and how my website was created. So what I do to combat that is I always welcome my um, readers, website visitors, customers and clients to email me. That way we can start a conversation via email. And um, if I'm offering like a discount, I can offer that via email. If I'm offering to sponsor a certain company or promote a certain company or post um, whoever decided to reply back, then I can still do that via my um, email. So that's kind of how I work around not being able to see comments immediately under um, or directly under my blog, my blog, excuse me. So here what I'm doing is I edited the behind the scenes back page of my blog. But if you see, it still shows my previous blog information. So what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much just going to copy and paste what I just wrote. And I'm going to put it in this section so that it shows up on my website. So you can already see that the search engine preview is correct. But I do need to do some editing still um, on the portion that I just showed you. So I'm just going to copy and paste. <laughs> I'll get it one of these times. For some reason, it just was not allowing me to easily select all of the writing that I had there. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, and then I just pasted what I wrote, and then I also need to change the title as well as that picture that I have um, for the previous blog. And as you can see right here, I, that's where I caught the typo where I had food instead of hair. So I just correct it now. Everything's looking like I want it to look with the exception of the title needing to be changed and also that picture. So at this point, I'm noticing that I kind of have the same information um, for the email address right below, like in, in bold um, font. So I'm going to delete that portion and I'm going to keep, we'd love to hear from you. I'm also going to keep my at bad chick hair underscore biz, my Instagram handle. So I'm going to keep that there. Be sure to follow me there if you are interested in business tips. I do post business tips on that page very frequently. Okay, so I'm copying that and I'm going to replace the Happy Holiday Season with a new title. 
I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Okay, and then I'm noticing that I really don't like that color for this blog. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color to something that, I don't know, something that suits it a little bit better, um, in my opinion. So you can definitely play around with different colors. You can also play around with the text if you want it to be bold, underlined. If you don't, you know, just choose what, what's going to look best and work best for you. So at this point, I'm looking for different pictures decided to go with that picture there to add to my blog. Now, typically with my blog, I don't add too many pictures. I'll add maybe one or two at the most, um, but I don't add too many pictures. The only time that I'll add a lot of pictures is if my blog is going to be really long and detailed and I'm doing like a step-by-step -step where I wanna show multiple pictures. I have done that before, but recently, I just have not, I shouldn't even say recently because the last blog that I did was in December, so that wasn't too recent, but um you know the vlogs that i the blogs that i've done um like in december and the one before that and the one before that they weren't long detail blogs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and save it and then i'm also going to update the date um so that it shows that it was published you know today i can also go ahead and change the time so you can choose when you want your blog published. I think this is a great, um, it's a great setting that Shopify has because say for some reason you did not want to, you wanted to create your blog, but you didn't want it published until next week. You can do that. You can always work ahead and then decide to publish your work whenever it's convenient for you. So here's what it looks like. Everything is there. So I'm liking what it looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start brainstorming some other ideas and topics that I do want to incorporate in my blog. That way I can go ahead and try to stay on top of updating my blog every month. When you are doing a blog, just remember that it doesn't have to be a certain length, um, meaning that it doesn't have to be you know, the same exact length every time. Um, sometimes you can do different polls for your blog if you're wanting to update it. Sometimes you can do different... Um, I don't know, trivia questions or uh, short story times, you know, you can just really be creative with it. But pretty much that's it for this video. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.